morning outdoor junkies hope you're having an amazing amazing day welcome back to my tree perfect little spot to rig and show you some uh, techniques uh, it's always a good reminder to remember to practice these techniques ground level first as you're learning how to rig some of this stuff before you actually get on the cliff and try and do it just make sure you understand the nuances of it and how they function so Today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, rigging repels with the totem. Now as I've mentioned in my past videos, I'm not a huge repeller on a totem. Um, I'll go off a critter, I get more control and more friction off of that for my liking. Everybody's different. Um, but there are some circumstances, if I were to ever drop my critter, I've always got a totem with me for rigging. So I have that option available to <coughs> repel if I need to. So there's a couple different ways you can repel with a totem. And the most common is to just rig it like a figure eight. Hook into that, and there's your repel. <clears throat> just a common figure eight type repel. Always remember that the smile, the rope should be going across the top facing your body. So there's less chance of that coming girth hitched and coming undone. Um, however, with the totem, it's not quite as prominent to happen as it is with just a regular figure eight device. So once that's rigged in, you've got your straight repel. Um, you can just go down. Again, there's not a lot of ways to add friction. Um, the one quick option that a totem does offer is you can take that rope and run it back up over that neck to where you have a little more friction on there. And you can do that on the fly. Um, other options, again, prior to descending, if you want to pop, uh, I'm out of carabiners. <laughs> <clears throat> pop a bite of rope through that stitch plate. You can add a little more friction there. That's really awkward and cumbersome. And I'm sure somebody's gonna throw a fit about me doing that. But all you're trying to do is add friction, add con connection points and contact points. You can do that prior to descending, but that one's kind of awkward. My preferred method, my first method would be to go into vertaco mode, which before I start my repel, I'm gonna take that rope and run it back through that carabiner that I'm hooked into. <clears throat> And now that gives me another connection friction point. Again, you've got to do this before you start your repel. So you've got to have that already pre-planned. But I can kind of repel this way as normal, but if I really need to add some friction, I'm going to redirect that rope up so it's really bending around that carabiner. Okay, so those are the ways that you can add some friction in figure eight mode with the totem. Slow your speeds down. The other option is to really use that stitch plate. You're gonna have a lot more friction and a lot more control with that stitch plate. Um, but it's a little bit cumbersome for some people too. So as I'm right-handed, I'm gonna hold the bulk of the totem in my left and I'm gonna run that stitch plate and attach to that. Now I can repel just kind of like a regular ATC repel would be. <clears throat> just repel straight down, hold on to that. This extra bar up here though on the totem over an ATC does give you some more leverage there. So the harder I push that rope into that load line, I'm gonna create more friction and I'm gonna slow my speed down. The more I let that loose, faster I'm gonna go, and I can even go faster by popping that down if I need to. I don't know why you'd wanna do that, but. So, here's my stitch plate, stop and go method. Throttle mode, I guess I should say. Check my other video that I just did up here for the, the uh, stop and go method. So, okay. One other way that you can add on a single line, these are all single line techniques. So we mostly do in canyoneering. Another option is to just use this stitch plate again and double that over. 
So you can actually run a single line rope through that stitch plate twice. So if you know you're gonna need more friction in the beginning, you can run that rope through there twice. Obviously on the ground, I don't have a lot of weight on me to be moving that very much. So still got a little bit of your throttle mode set up. So you can do that and control your speed that way. So there you go. For those of you who enjoy rappelling with a totem, <clears throat> those are some ways you can control your friction and set up your device to offer you a little bit more options there. Hope that helps. Hit that subscribe button, come join us on our adventures and learn a few things. If you've got some questions, just like AH had on this, um, he's the one that asked for these, um, drop them in the comments. We'll answer some questions and maybe even make a video out of it. So, catch you on the next one. Really? really? Hey! Can we shut the door? Good girl. Good girl. I don't know where I was now. Hey.